So, hello and welcome back to another video, guys. Uh, this is a pretty cool video for me, because this is my first video here on this channel, where this is now my main channel. Um, I know not everyone who subscribes to this channel may know that, but I know a few people will, because a few people have followed me over from my other channel, which I've had going for about seven years, probably, seven, eight years, which is called Rockboy680. I was a lot younger when I made it, um, and I... I recently ended it or put it on pause um, last week. And, you know, I've been doing it for a long time. I had about 5,000 subscribers on it, which was so amazing, so cool. And if anyone who is watching from that channel, again, thank you for subscribing to that channel. And thank you to everyone who's subscribed to this channel as well while I'm at it. I'm very grateful. It's still astonishing to me every day. But yeah, I, I ended that channel because I'm more into my movies and that's a music channel. Um, so here we are. This is the first video on this channel where... Um, our channel's kind of gone, so this is now my main and kind of only channel now. So this is kind of cool, I'm going to put a lot more effort into this channel now. Um, hopefully you're going to be able to come up with an intro and stuff like that. Um, also in the description I'm going to add links to my um, podcast, which is my main thing at the minute. I love it, it's great, I'm so happy to be doing it, I love podcasting. Off to the movies, where we do it every Sunday, me and my friend Ryan. We talk about movie news, we go over a big topic of the week, and then at the end, we'll do either something else, or we'll get people involved. The last 20 minutes is normally a free-for-all, we'll always do something different. Um, so yeah, I've got that, I've got a link to it on Spotify, um, down below. And um, also the Facebook page, also got a link to my Twitter and my Instagram in the description below. So if you want to, of course, click on those, go give me a follow on those. Um, I'd be forever grateful, especially on the podcast. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about my experience at um, Comic-Con. This is the uh, the spring 2021. I know a lot of people go and they vlog. So there's far more interesting videos out there of it. Um, I don't really do that. I put a few things up on my story on Instagram. Um, but that was about it, really. Um, I just wanted to talk about my experience because when I'm there, I like to just get in the zone. And just enjoy myself, not worry about filming. But of course, if people want me to film at one of them, I'm sure I will. But it was a really good Comic Con for me. My favourite thing about these London Comic Cons is meeting the celebrities. It's mass. It's so enjoyable for my, for me, which is why I prefer these London Film Cons to the MCM ones. I really like the MCM ones still. Um, the the last MCM one, I I, I didn't really get much to be honest i didn't meet anyone i wanted to meet simon Pegg, but you had to uh, i should have prayed books but i didn't anyway this one here i met seven people seven really cool people i'm going to show you the autographs and the pictures i got with them well i didn't really get pictures with i only got pictures with one of them to be honest i didn't do the photo shoot so i was literally going up there asking them over the desk um I'll show you the order in which I got them in, which, kind of funny enough, I got three Doctor Who ones, so there's three Doctor Who ones, I got a random one, um, then I got two Game of Thrones autographs, and then I got another random one at the end from something else, which I'm going to save till the end. Um, so, yeah, they all kind of come out in a good order. <laughs> so me and my friend Reese, we got in there, and um, for those of you who don't know, um, with these Comic-Cons, these film ones, if you haven't booked, you don't get this Diamond Pass, yeah, there's there's a person at the front of each of the big names with this uh, stack of tickets. And you go up there, you get a ticket. You know, just with a number on. Um, you know, it starts at one and goes all the way. I've seen people with tickets going up to 300 before. So you, what me and my friend done is we got there super early. We were one of the first people in there. We run upstairs, which is where all the celebrities were. And we got tickets to all the ones we wanted to meet. So we had nice low numbers. So what the celebrities do is they basically go for all the diamond passes, which the people have already paid, they've booked online. And then if they get onto them, because sometimes they don't, because the last one I went to this time last year, I wanted to meet Tom Baker and he did not get off the diamond passes. So you don't always, they don't always get to the ticket people. Um, but we, we have very low tickets and then they put on a sign when the tickets come up, they say like one to 50. And me and my mate, who I went with, we were both under 50 on all of them. So we were pretty much straight in there as soon as these actors got off Diamond Passes. That's kind of how it works. We met all the people who didn't need tickets for, pretty much. Um, and then in between, we were walking around all the stalls and stuff. Because I have a lot of stalls for you to look for, look through downstairs. So we looked for all them in between meeting people. Didn't buy anything, so I wanted to save all my money to um, meet people. Because that's the main attraction for me, personally. Because most of the stuff you can buy at the MCM one or at the... London film one um, in the summer, um, in July, or, you know, you can get most of it online. So for me personally, I enjoy meeting people more. You can only do that there. 
So anyway, let me get on with the signatures. I've got my uh, my signature scrapbook here where the cover has just fallen off. Um, but yeah, it's filling up now nicely. There's there's quite a few signatures in here now. Um, so yeah, let's the first person I met then. So my friend who went with me, he is uh, he likes James Bond, but his dad's like a massive James Bond fan. His dad's got a scrapbook with all these James Bond autographs in. So um sort of said so he's, he went to meet um an actress who was in James Bond and I remember she used to be in the Doctor Who spin-off, Sarah Jane. She was in four episodes, I think. I was like, you know what? I'll go meet her with you. I didn't get a picture with her, um, because she, you know, what, what, um, I think she was doing a photo shoot, so you had to go pay for it. But um, I got a signature, um, and it's really cool. So, oh, there's my guitar. I've just tapped. <laughs> I met Samantha Bond. So that's right. Most people are definitely gonna know her um, from James Bond as a um, money penny. But I, I, I knew her as the Bane mother from Sarah Jane because it, even though I watch James Bond, I have them. Um, it's right behind me, actually. Quite handy. I have this, which, of course, she's in. Um, we've got all the classic Bond films in there. And I've seen every Bond film, so I know her very well from Bond. But I'm a massive Doctor Who fan, so I kind of knew her from, from Doctor Who. Um, next up, next person I met. Again, another Doctor Who related one. This, this one, this actress actually was in Doctor Who and not in a Doctor Who spin-off. Um, and she's from my personal favourite era of Doctor Who. I'm a massive fan of the David Tennant era. Um, I've got her name up here because I always pronounce her surname wrong. I met Camila Coderie. Coderie? Camila Coderie. I think that's how you say her name. Um, and here she is who played Jackie Tyler, Rose's mum. Which is really nice. And then there's a picture with me and her. She's the only one who done a photo with me. All the rest, all the other people I met that, that day weren't doing photos. But, um, yeah, and she was really nice. You know, we had a nice little chat. I asked her if she's still watching the show. And she kind of said, oh, I watched Matt Smith's first episode. And then I watched Peter Paddy's first episode. And then I watched a couple of Jodie's first episodes. <laughs> so I get the feeling she just watches the first few. And, I, you know, I said, so I get it. It's a long show. We're on series 12 now. Um, of which I'm not going to share my opinion on. Um, <laughs> but if you want to hear my opinion of series 12, go check out my podcast. Because um, this weekend, on episode 5 of it, we're going to be reviewing season 12. Um, but yeah, we had a nice long chat. And it was she was really lovely. Really nice. And she was sitting next to the actor who played Rose's dad as well so a lot of people were getting group photos i didn't meet him because i ran out of money at the end he would have been one of the next ones on my list to meet but i'll get him next time i'm sure um next up i wasn't gonna meet this actor because he was uh, not too ex he wasn't that expensive but um considering he's in doctor who at the minute um i thought he would be a lot more expensive than he was and um, I thought he'd be a lot more busy than he was. And it it's kind of, this is going to sound horrible, but it's true. Unfortunately, there was no one queuing for him um, after the first hour. He was, his stall was a bit dead, unfortunately. So I thought, ah, oh, sod it. I'm going to walk up there and meet him. And I thought I'd do it because he's in the show at the minute. It's kind of cool to meet who meet someone who's still very current. Um, so I met Tosin Cole, who plays Ryan in the current season of Doctor Who. And, um, again, could get a picture with him, but I got a picture of him. <laughs> but, yeah, there he is. Really cool signature. Um, again, you know, in the modern era of Doctor Who, it's a very controversial thing. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I love Doctor Who, so I'm still watching. Um, and Tosin Cole, Cole was a lovely guy. We spoke for a while. I, I said to him, um, you know, how much I've enjoyed um, his performance in the show. Uh, <laughs> I didn't tell him that I loved the series at the minute though because I didn't want to lie to him. Um, <laughs> I I asked him um, how, how if he could tell me anything because it was the, uh, the Comic Con was the day before the series twelve finale. So I said to him, "Can you tell me anything about tomorrow night?" So he's like, "Nah." Um, and I noticed on his desk where you pick out the pictures um, for the actors signing a picture of him in an X wing suit. So I was like, "Oh, you're in Star Wars?" And he was like, "Yeah, man." He's like, "It was a great day, great set." So we talked about Star Wars for a little bit. And it was a 10 out of 10 guy. And I, I really, really enjoyed meeting him. So yeah, 
Um, there's all my Doctor Who autographs. Um, next one up, this was, um, there were two big ones that I went in there going, right, I have to meet these two. I'm very confident I'll be able to meet them. Um, this is one of the two. Um, and I was able to meet him. He actually didn't have a ticket guy. You could go straight up there, which was kind of shocking because Tosin Cole had a ticket guy. And his stool was, as I say, dead after the first hour. Whereas this guy, his queues were there all day. And he didn't have tickets. So I think they misjudged how many people liked this guy. And um, that guy is Mr. Tom Hopper. Who people will know from Black Sails. I love Black Sails. I'd probably say it's my favourite TV show. Um, you can see there, it's right next to my Captain Flint signature. Um, but people also know him from Game of Thrones, of course. He was in Series 7? Yeah, he was definitely in 7. I can't. I think it was only seven he was in. Um, and he's also in Umbrella Academy, which is airing at the minute. There's a picture of him signing my picture. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you know, he's in three shows that I absolutely love. Black Sails is probably my favourite show. Game of Thrones. Hey, look, he weren't in Series 8. So, he's got it all good in my book. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, Umbrella Academy, I really enjoyed the first season. And it's funny because... I said to him that um, Black Sails is my favourite TV show when I met him. And I weren't lying. It probably is my favourite TV show. I love it. Um, but we were speaking mostly about Umbrella Academy. And he was telling me like how they got sent early copies of it. Because he's one of the lead actors in it. And like his wife binged it all in a day. He's saying, like, oh, my wife loved it. And he said he's already... He said season two is great. Um, I'm guessing he's already seen it. I know it's been filmed. Um, and he's going, you're going to love it. So I was like, I just said to him, I said, mate, I can't wait. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed the first season of Umbrella Academy. And I loved the cliffhanger. So I'm really excited about it. Um, okay. He was great. Really good. Really nice bloke. Next one up, yeah, we're going on to the two Game of Thrones autographs I, I got. The two Game of Thrones people I met. This was the only one I was a bit disappointed with on the day because he wasn't very talkative. Because um, I'll show you who it is. I met Jerome Flint who is most famous for playing Brom in Game of Thrones. He's appeared in a lot of other things. He was in John Wick Chapter 3 this previous year. There's your autograph. And he was a nice bloke. He was happy, smiling, nice to be there. But he was very chatty with um, a couple of girls in front of us. And that's probably why he was more chatty with them, because they were of the female gender. Um, <laughs> but I, I, you know, you, I tried to spark a conversation with him, because, you know... It's nice to meet them, it really is. And you want to get your money's worth, of course, as well. So I, I, I just simply said to him, I said, oh, did you get to, did they give you anything when you left the Game of Thrones set? And he was signing, he just kind of looked up and he went, nah, and went back to signing. And you could just kind of get the vibe that he wasn't going to engage in a conversation, really. But anyway, it was nice to meet him. It was a cool signature. And um, I'm pleased to have um, Bron's signature in my book. Now, the next one up is another Game of Thrones one. It's the second one I got. And this is the other one which I went in there really determined to meet, like Tom Hopper. I was like, I've really got to meet this guy. I'm, I was confident we could meet him, me and my mate, because this actor also appeared in James Bond, but he's more famous for Game of Thrones. Um, we were both like, yeah, we're pretty determined to meet this guy. We're very confident we can. So we're going to, we, we got to do it. And we did. And it was great. One of the highlights of the day. I met Charles Dance, who is, of course, most famous for playing Tywin Lannister. My favourite character in Game of Thrones. I know that's really weird, because I know he's, like, a, a very evil character. But I loved how menacing and how much of a presence he had on screen. I thought he was such a great character to watch. Um, and then I got a picture of him signing my mate's James Bond book. So that's pretty cool there, so... Yeah, and Charles Dance, was, he was, again, just really nice. We had a nice... It was a quite a quick chat because he was quite busy. And I just said to him how much I loved Game of Thrones. And Charles Dance went out at the best time for me because I think the first four seasons of Game of Thrones are the best TV I've maybe ever seen. It's up there. And then it's season five where it slips. So they kind of killed Charles Dance's character off right as the show started, just before the show started to slip. So he had, like, the perfect line in Game of Thrones. He died in the last... Great, great period of the show. Um, so I wasn't lying when I said that to him. And I love Charles Dance. He's a fantastic actor. You know, I've seen him in so many other things as well as Game of Thrones. Aliens Free. Believe it or not, I still remember him from Ali G. But I've got loads of films in my collection. I've got a TV miniseries by BBC and then there were none. Um, I've got loads of stuff with Charles Dance. And I think he's a great actor. 
So anyway, I've only got one more signature to show you guys and it's the coolest one. So this guy was the one me and my mate wanted to meet the most, but the reason like, I didn't put him on that same level as Charles Dance and Tom Harper was because I wasn't confident we'd get to meet him. I thought so many people were going to pre-book this guy. We're probably not going to get to meet him. But we did. We got we got very lucky. We got to meet him. And they called out tickets when we were the first ones in the queue. And it was really, really cool. Um, really nice guy. So before I tell you what I said to him and stuff, let me show you who it was. It was Mr. Ian McDermott. Emperor Palpatine. Darth Sidious himself. There he is. And he signed the lightsaber. And that was his idea. He's like, do you want me to sign the lightsaber? I went, Go for it, Bells. Like, you sign it where you want. <laughs> um, and there's a picture of him signing um, someone's um, photo there. And then my mate brought in a lightsaber for him to sign. So he's signing my friend's lightsaber there. Um, but yeah, look at that. That is so cool. I can't believe I've met the Emperor. Um, yeah, I, I, I just said to him, I said how much I love... I, well, I said... I know you get this all the time, but I've got to say, I love Star Wars. It's my favourite thing in the world. Um, I said to him how much Revenge of the Sith means to me because it's like my childhood film. I grew up with the prequels. Um, and he was like, good, good, good. And we had a nice little chat about Revenge of the Sith. I asked him if he kept anything from the set again, and he was telling me a few bits. Um, then he did actually ask me, he said, what did you think of the new film? The Rise of Skywalker. And those of you who watch my channel and watch my review of The Rise of Skywalker, you know I pretty damn near hated the movie. So I had to lie to him. I had to go, yeah. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ian, but damn it. I couldn't, I couldn't do that to you. Um, but it was such a pleasure to meet him. It really was. And I'm so, I wish I'd done the photo shoot with Ian, but damn it, actually. That's the one thing I regret not doing on the day. But yeah, my, my little autograph book is now filling up very, very nicely. I've got some really nice signatures in there. Um, so super excited for the next Comic Con. There's an MCM one in May, which I'll go to. Um, probably won't meet people. There's never anyone particularly. Big. There's no big names announced for it yet. And that's if it even happens because of this whole coronavirus. <laughs> um, but then the next um, film one is in July. I think it's the 26th of July. So I really hope I can go to that. Um, but anyway, we'll, 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 we'll see. Because there's a few people going to that already that I want to meet. But um, that is it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message, and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye-bye.